Hobby Prepper Texas here. I wanted to talk to you about uh, staying cool. And that's why I'm looking at the fan right now. How do you stay cool in an SHTF situation? Who knows what could happen? So, I've got a couple options here. How many little handheld fans do you have that you might need? Um, great little option if you have extra batteries. Um, just regular bottle of water, always to keep you cool. Um, we already kind of covered that, but water is going to play a huge role in keeping you cool. Uh, one of the other things is our spray bottles. Um, they're out in the garage, so I didn't bring those in, but uh, how many just regular plastic spray bottles do you have that you can mist yourself? Or a fan with a mister, if you had something like that. These were really cheap, and I picked up a bunch of them. Um, what about uh, extra rags or something like that? Just a cool put water and uh, put on the back of your neck or whatever. Here in Texas, it's going to get hot. You're going to need something to cool off with. Even something like, uh, also for sanitizing purposes, but uh, wet ones. A little cool just to wipe off and keep yourself cool. One of the main things that I think... Uh, people are going to forget and not have is uh, something that I, I spent a little bit of time on. Uh, this is a, a package of what I'm going to talk about. And here's another package. Fans. Have you gone out and looked at just a handheld fan? I got some wooden ones and then I've got more decorative Sorry about the camera there. Decorative fans. Uh, they are Asian type fans with writing and colors on them. But uh, how many of those do you have? Uh, if you have one and it breaks, what are you going to do when it's 90, 100 degrees? Um, how are you going to keep cool? Definitely stay in the shade. Water's a huge item. Um, but something to keep a breeze going on you. Um, hopefully you have some solar and a small fan, maybe a 12 volt fan to, that can run and uh, that would be one thing but you'll never never uh, run out of a breeze with a handheld fan unless you pass out. And then probably it's a uh, not, little bit too much of your problem. Um, I bought these both on Amazon. Um, we actually tested them out, and the wife really liked these uh, wooden ones um, really well. They, he they held up uh, but produced a lot of wind. Um, so these cloth ones, uh, they look nice, but uh, didn't produce as much as these uh, wood ones. So that's about it. Um, hope you stay cool, and if you come up with any other ideas, let me know.